Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Minecraft Survival. Uh, last time, we... I can't forget... Oh yeah, we uh, made the sheep farm, we fixed the iron farm. Seems like that, that thing needs fixing a lot, but you know, whatever. It seems to work properly now. Anyway, I think that's basically all we did. Anyway, today I want to go on a bit of an adventure. Because, well, I want to fill in more of this map. So, yeah, that's, I really want to do that. So, what I'll do is that I'll stop recording and then I'll, I'll just uh, update you all if I see something interesting or something interesting happens. For now, what I want to do is to head to this village right here. And from there... I'll see what I, where I'll go or what I'll do. And yeah, I'll see you guys when something interesting happens. Alright, so what I found right here is quite interesting. As you can see, the path sort of... Oh! Well, there it goes. The path, uh, there were seeds planted on that path. And there seems to be seeds on this grass block as well. Which, yeah, that's very interesting. Those are melon seeds, that's cool. Also, this water is not flowing. The seeds on this water. What a very... This is such a buggy village. And the water has... Um, ruined these seeds. Alright. The same seems to have happened over here. What a mess. What an absolute mess of a village this is. It's very interesting though. Very, uh, yeah. Very interesting. There's a poppy on wood right here. Which is also very interesting and unique. So yeah, this village is, yeah, very unique, very interesting. Very broken as well. Let's see, is there a chest in this house? No. Alright. Let's see what, if there's anything. There's even more grass, uh, grassy seeds here. Hello village here, guys. There's path blocks inside of the house. This is the... This is the least functional village I've ever seen. And that's insane. Um, this is crazy. I will take off this bread. And the torch, thank you very much. But God, what a village. Th this is... I must say though, this is really cool. Like, I know it's not supposed to be this way. But it is very cool. Huh, huh. Yes, I get your point, villagers. Anyway, what's over here? Just a bed. I do think I want to... Um, I'm very sorry about that. I forgot to put myself on Do Not Disturb on Discord. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um, I do think that this is a very interesting village. Um... I have never seen such a weird village. So, yeah, that's really cool. And I really hope that I can sleep soon. I, I hate this. This is always such a pain. Come on, let me sleep. Thank you. <laughs> so annoying. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um... That this village was incredibly interesting. But now I'm going to head onwards to see what else I can find. I will also take a bed because I forgot to get one at home. So I'll just take this bed. Thank you very much. And I'll be on my way. Hopefully I won't die. Oh, there's a cat. I, I heard a cat. I love cats so much, man. And, ooh, that's a huge cave right here. Which is... 
cool, I guess. It's not a rush cave though, I, I would like to see a rush cave again. Or, I would like to see a rush cave sometime soon because I haven't come across one yet. And, god, the game is kind of lagging, but yeah, I'll be fine. To be fair, I have like everything open. I have like Discord and Chrome and Spotify still open. Maybe I should close them, but oh well. Anyway, yeah, um, there's a ruined portal that I missed near that village. I'm heading to there, see what route I can get. Anyway, I'll update you once it's relevant. Alright, I found something interesting. The ruined portal wasn't, um, much of anything interesting, but I right here have a pillager outpost and the pillagers seem to be wanting to attack me. Yep, they're attacking me. He's attacking me. It is attacking me. Whatever. Uh, get off my tail, you freaking idiot. Speaking of idiot, I dropped my sword. Anyway, I'm getting away from that guy. Because I also see a village in the area. Ha, you can't catch me. You freaking idiot. Uh, we can do something with that outpost sometime soon when I'm better prepared, but not when I have a very broken wooden sword with me. Alright, I'll do that when I have probably some diamond gear or something. Anyway, the pillager seems to have lost me. So that's good. Now we can go on to this village right here. And also some sugarcane. And also we can get some rag it seems. Speaking of rag, that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, sugarcane is always nice to have. And yeah, then right here, we have another village. Seems to be a slightly more functional village than the one we had before. Hello. You would trade me some paper. What was that noise? Oh well, no big deal. Anyway, is there something? No? Alright. It's over a kilometer to my house now. There's that noise again. I'm guessing it's just the village of restocking. Hello there. Take the bread. I don't need the leather pants. Thank you very much. That's that. I really like the, um, the crops on this uh, village. How it's along the river thing. I really like that. Then what's here? Nothing. It's just like a bed. That's... Alright. That's nothing here as well. There's a leather tunic. Hello. Please get me through. Thank you. And then... Right here is some more nothingness or nothing of use anyway ah this is the ah all right some more bread which is always nice to have even more bread i'll take it until i have a stack and some emeralds that's cool I, I like this well. I like the design of that well. Anyway, um, yeah, that's it for this village. And that's it for most of the interesting things here. I think that I'm going to more or less head back to my house now, taking probably this route right here. Going via here, if I can. And then looping back to my house. I think that seems like a good idea. See you guys uh, when something notable happens. Uh, Alright, so I have come to one more interesting thing. At least I assume this will be the last interesting thing. And that's this biome right here. 
as you can see with the F3 screen, this is a frozen peaks biome. Right here is a forest biome. And I think right here was, um, where's the biome? Frozen peaks still forest. Yeah, as you can see, god damn, this is a lot of info. I'm getting rid of it. But as you can see, this is the tiniest frozen peaks biome ever. Like, look how, how look how small this frozen frozen peaks is. Like, it's crazy small. There isn't even any sn snowy snow, or at least not that I have felt so far. But yeah, that is a tiny biome. I already saw this on the map a while ago, but. I haven't checked it out yet until now, and yeah, that was indeed a tiny frozen peaks biome, absolutely tiny, microscopic even. But yeah, that was mildly interesting, I, I, I thought it was mildly interesting at least. Now, do I let myself fall or use my water? I guess I can use my water right here in this section watch out for that cave watch out for any mobs that could come out and all right we seem to be making our way towards our house and yeah see you guys uh, later all right so I, m I might sound a little different because um the uh my microphone well, I reconnected my microphone uh, just now, and for some reason it's louder. I don't know, but yeah, um, I might sound a bit different. But, oh well. Um, that's that. Is it, do I have anything I can smelt? I don't really have anything I can smelt. Alright. As you can see, we got quite a bit from... Um, from that uh, mining of, not mining, um, from that adventure. So that is very good. Now then, that's not wood. You can go to here. Iron ingot. Uh, sugar cane. That's northern downpour anyway. Uh, boat can go in there. Alright. Now let's sleep, and after that I want to get myself a proper house, because of course we have this little cave house in here, but yeah, it, it it's not amazing, I mean it's a nice ominous banner, but other than that, this, this place is far from amazing. So I want to get some rocks, and some cobblestone. And I want to build a house from these materials. Now for the location I already... Well, I was planning to build it there but as you can see that's where my... Uh, where my sheep are currently. So yeah we can't really go there. So instead I want to build it right here. Um, I will want, need to flatten some of this terrain here and get rid of some trees but yeah this will be where or I will build a slightly better house it won't be my um, ultra villa of doom but it will be like a way better house than we had before so yeah all the uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start making it. Okay, so I have the frame for the building right here. As you can see, it's not the most beautiful Minecraft house I've ever built. Actually, that's debatable because I'm an awful builder, but regardless, it's not the most beautiful, but it will do. And I need uh, grass. Now, I have not found a desert yet. So I was looking at my map and I found that the best place to get sand would be 
somewhere out here or out here or out there so I'm just going to head there and grab some sand so I can fill these little gaps in with uh, grass panes so yeah for that I'm going in that direction and then yeah hopefully we can come back with plenty of uh, come back with plenty of uh, sand and grass or sand that will turn into grass by smelting so yeah i'll see you guys once i've gathered up some sand all right so right now i am smelting up my um sand into grass <clears throat> and now almost all of my tools are fairly dead but i think it's fine we have an iron farm, so we can always go back there if we need the tools. And now, what was the recipe? I, th I think it was six, six grass paints to make, um, six grass blocks rather to make grass paints. I forgot how much you got, but I think you got like sixteen. So I don't think we need a lot. Um, keeping some of that sand. Now let's see here. Yep, 16 grass paints from 6 grass blocks. That's very good, that's really good. And so, as a result, we can just very easily uh, put them down into the house. It is a small distance away, but it's not that bad. I mean, last thing I bu built was the... Uh, not really the last thing I built, but my iron farm is way further away, so it's fine. And wow, we already have way from six grass blocks, so that's great, that's really good. Um, that means that we don't need much. Heck, um, the amount that we need will probably have been smelted already since it was yeah six exactly um i'll get six or smelt six more and then i'll uh then i'll uh put the sand out, out of the furnace all right so the grass paints are now inside of it uh i Left 17, so that extra batch was not needed, but grass paints are quite useful, so we can use it for something else. Now, the last thing I'm wondering is what to make the roof from. I know the floor will probably be oak wood planks, but the roof, I don't really know. So, yeah, I, I will spend some time deciding that. However, the final decision will um will be um announced next episode because well we're more or less out of time well not really we're not really out of time but like i think this episode would have been long enough i don't count it exactly but in editing probably be around the 20 minute mark which is typically the length that i try to aim for so yeah Oh, we have one piece of grass already. I, I really wonder where that came from. Maybe I found some sand some other time. Anyway, next time uh, we'll continue the house. So see you guys then.